the feds will pay an additional $23 million to protect First Lady Melania Trump and Baron Trump at their Trump Tower home once President Donald Trump signs a bill to fund the government this week. The funding will be used to pay to better fortify the Fifth Avenue Tower and pay and equip those who protect it while the First Lady continue to live there while the Trump's son Baron attends school. President Trump hasn't set foot inside the tower, which houses both the Trump Organization and the penthouse where his wife and son live, since he was inaugurated more than 100 days ago. That could change this week when the president attends an event on the USS Intrepid, which is docked on the Hudson across town, although there are indications the president is New Jersey bound. On Friday, the president is likely to be at the Trump National Golf Club in Bedminster, New Jersey, where the Secret Service agents who protect him will follow. The figures are included in a spending agreement reached between congressional negotiators and the White House. The president is expected to sign it once it clears Congress as expected this week. Localities that supplement protection when Trump travels, the NYPD, and law enforcement in Palm Beach County, Florida, are set to get $60 million in reimbursement from the federal government under an omnibus spending bill agreed to by congressional negotiators, and the administration, the New York Times reported. The funds will go to cover the extraordinary law enforcement personnel costs that get incurred, according to the legislation. The two jurisdictions have pressured lawmakers to secure funds, after watching their own overtime and, and other costs skyrocket because of security needs. Trump has frequently spent weekends at Mar-a-Lago, the private club he owns in West Palm Beach, spending 25 days there according to a tally by the New York Times. Bedminster is also eligible to apply. Mar-a-Lago traditionally closes for the summer around Mother's Day, and a VIP flight restriction published by the Federal Aviation Administration indicates the president may be turning his gaze toward the Garden State as the weather changes. Although the federal government does not otherwise reimburse costs of state or local law enforcement for activities in support of the United States Secret Service Protection Mission, according to the budget legislation, these funds are being provided in recognition of the extraordinary costs borne by a small number of jurisdictions in which a residence of the president is located, the text reads. New York Mayor Bill de Blasio raised the issue of local costs directly with President Trump when the two met at Trump Tower following the transition. He said the city was getting what we are owed in a statement about the latest budget agreement. Police officers are a constant presence at the building on Fifth Avenue, which remains open to the public. This is the right and fair course of action for the Department of Justice to be taking, said Rep. Leonard Lance, RNJ, whose district includes Bedminster told NJ.com. Protecting the President, the First Family and other dignitaries is an important federal responsibility. The bill provides $20 million for security costs up until Inauguration Day, and $41 million to cover January 20th through the end of the fiscal year September 30th.